Yes. Mm -hmm. Made a lot of messes. <laughs> She wasn't the nice problem, I reckon. She was extremely, 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 extremely nice. Yeah. Until okay. she decided the enough was enough. Yeah. Yes. It's good to see both sides of the spectrum that way. Right? Uh, that's another success. You, really? Yeah, a three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, basically. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, the, the one guy comes behind you in a screaming, all offense strike with his curved sword from behind. And you, as I'm going to say, uh, just have enough time uh, yeah. to, to duck out of the way, but you have to go low, yeah. way too close for you to actually turn, uh, but you were able to reverse your spear. Ooh. And of course, he's completely impaled upon it, and his war cry is silenced. <laughs> and so that means that everybody else has either, run, either runs away or they they just hold their hands and look at you. Yeah. Okay, so that's your situation. Yeah. Which brings me now to you. Uh, right. <laughs> well, I do try to, since it, it looks a little bit unnatural to have the structure this way, I do try to climb up and I don't see from it as well. Okay, so that now you, of course, have succeeded in your magic hunting. So the two of you are shielded from any number of strange things. Uh, so you are able to look around and see the interesting carvings and things like that. Okay. Uh, yeah. You will. You will, make, do it sound uh, you will easily see that this is not a culture that you are familiar with. Yeah. You will also easily see that the work that went into this must have been immense, generations. Wow. Which is a little strange because. How were there generations of people doing this? <laughs> and then secondly, uh, as you proceed around, you will see uh, a group of people who uh, are all congratulating each other on a job well done. <laughs> and, um, and, and, one of the, and a young man saying, can I have my shirt back? And Trobe, who you recognize uh, blissfully uh, blissfully sleeping. Uh, however, they are not mistreating her or anything. No. Uh, they are, in fact, they are saying, "Well, what should we do? Should we put her on a pillows or something?" And someone else said, "Should we just drown her?" Someone else says, "No." I, I, do, I do pick up on, "Shall we drown her?" One of them instantly tells that person. No, she's the goddess. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, look, I look at Seekball and then I look back at them and just, what is that? Seekball <laughs> so, right. looks at you and says, don't tell me what to get involved in this. Well, we can't just leave her with this awful man. They're gonna kidnap her or something. Some women there. Yes, but that one has no clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have no idea what's going on. I, I do fear for her safety. Seafell says, okay. Perhaps uh, you should perhaps you should stay here or something. Oh, or I'll, I'll stay thing. right here on this nice safe rock on no. this completely ordinary no. rock. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. You come with me, it's that much better. Yeah, Seafell <laughs> looks at the camera or the reader as he walks down there <laughs> and she gives you a significant look. Well, it's a big yeah, yeah, it's, I, I, I know. It's almost sabbatical. I'm so sorry. Yes, and Elsa is wearing the same kind of clothes that all but one of them are wearing. <laughs> okay. How was that dress? Was it like flowery? Or? It's uh, very, as I say, very sophisticated okay. in its in it, the way it is made, and uh, it has um, a very thick way of falling straight. Oh, when you like raise your arm, it falls very nicely, very straight, and it also. Uh, has trim. It has things here and here and here that are uh, very comfortable and very um, fancy. But it's still very thick. Uh, uh, pretty thick, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's quite quite comfortable, in fact. Yeah. Uh, very rich and luminous. Do I see them in the or something? Well, they 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 agree that yes, maybe they'll they'll put the goddess into comfortable goddess quarters, and uh, someone else says, and uh, make sure they finish working on that model. Oh my god! So, 
So I do get a little a bit nervous, but I do feel that I need to rescue my old acquaintance. What shall you do? I, me and these people, I think we will follow them stealthily. You will follow them stealthily? I think we will sneak after them. Try and let me know. Throw a magic conflict. One roll. That is magic. All right, then. Uh, no, it yes. is not. No, it is not. Uh, I said magic. Yes, it is a fighting conflict. It's a fighting conflict. All right, then. Uh, I'm not too good at this, but I have a one to see. I succeed. Yes. You fall flat. A seat iron, in fact, probably says, uh, be careful. And just the words are out of your mouth when you hear a strange sound from one of the yes. one of the rocks, and you guess right and drop flat, yes. and the crossbow bolts go tonk, tonk, tonk. Oh, dear. Right. Oh, dear. And the uh, and, and you can hear voices from up ahead saying, "What was that?" Someone else says, "I try you know what that is." I try to lay low along with people. Right, and so the, uh, the there is a disturbance ahead. All right, so you are trying to lay low. Thank you, sir. But you did, but you did succeed in what he said he wanted to do, yeah. which was to be stealthy. So right. that's the case. All right. You have avoided their violence, okay. which would be done with the crossbow bolts. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I, I don't wear many colors to meet my temporal right. hood, but uh, I reckon they would be searching after us. So perhaps I could use the robe to magically erect both me and Seatball okay. looking like robes. That's fine. In the, visit, in the vicinity. Since you have already succeeded in this, that is a nice little narration. Yes. Okay. That's what I do. I do. I examine Frodo by the black cape. Okay. I wrap myself in seed bowl in the right. old okay. big cut cloak that I have. Perfect. And we look okay. like the rocks yes. uh, in this room. So, 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 so they look around and they know what's happening. Okay. So you are creeping around in there. You are being taken to a nice, comfortable spot. Nice. You are waiting in blood and war for some yeah. reason. And so <laughs> there's a proper tradition around this part of the gates. Um, and then you uh, can you are actually right next to the desiccated corpse. Yeah. Uh, who, as corpses go, uh, does not match the blood at all. The blood looks exactly as of what would happen if you decapitated somebody and it fell down. So the blood looks right, but the blood looks completely fresh, and the corpse looks as though it has been. Uh, drying there, partly mummifying and decaying as well, for oh, a dozen years, 12, 15, 15 years. I, I'm going to yes, point my spear towards one of the ones that's just cowering that has not fled. Say, you, tell me what's going on here. Why is this corpse? Who is it? Why is it still bleeding fresh? And what's this about me being a dead fish? <laughs> he says, well, you either you have changed or there are two of you. But did you not join the wizard priest Warizim and restore our temple to reality as he had promised for so long? You might be right with the first thing you said. There are more than one of us. It's not it's it's not you, I mean her. And then he like slaps the person next to him and says, It's not her. Really? <laughs> and they, they all start looking at you and one of them says, Yes, yes, I guess you're right. <laughs> uh, and, and I, I could make a joke about they don't all look alike, you know, they should yeah. but they, that's too modern a joke. <laughs> they they are saying uh, things like you you, uh, you might be mighty and great. Thank you. Could you leave? The bat? Not so, not so fast. Don't try to steal my worshippers. <laughs> Still more questions. First of all, the corpse. Yes, that was the great Warizim who represented the old gods who. Your wizard. Yes, he restored us to our, our, we were in the 
despair and we had faded away into the past and you know, all the people were gone and our great structures were destroyed and ruined by time and he has restored us and that's for which we are very grateful except that he was kind of a bastard and you or she I guess uh, helped him Things got a little complicated and she killed him and went away. Oh. And we were really happy about this, except that some of us are foolish and weak and stupid and are attempting to worship her instead. Whereas we know that would be a really, really big mistake, no offense. And we thought we were her. Mm-hmm. And another one says, and we're so. Also, if you do see her, I would reckon it would probably still be a bad idea to try the same thing you just tried. Probably will not end well for you. Really, you have no idea what she and he put us through. And we still don't know why she killed him, but we're really happy about that. (laughs) We really just want to live here, and if only we can convince our brothers and sisters and wives and husbands and relatives and friends that they are foolish and wrong, perhaps you could help. You seem to have a very convincing way about it. Oh, shut up. You're one of them who's like, And perhaps you could help us convince them of how you're not a goddess would be very helpful. But I am not the person who helped you discard of the wizard and do all the other things. Yes, yes, but it it would it would be you a trying to argument. pass me off as a goddess. No, no. The point is, we're trying to tell them that you are not. Oh, I see. And maybe we could dial back the devilish part and just say not a goddess and not put in. You could start with that. Negative connotations on. You can start without, without me helping. Okay. Now, the person that you were talking to uh, is, is uh, a young man, and he says, all right, then. And he looks around, and he says, well, the first thing to do is to get help for everybody who somehow got hurt here. And then we need to uh, perhaps have a little festival or feast, and then we can go and present you to the other side. And he gestures over to the other side, literally. There might be other travelers coming up here very soon in that case, if we're going to stay here for a festival. Uh, Explain. I am not traveling at all. Oh, I see. Well, sure. Any friends of yours, I suppose. (laughs) Well, so that's... Uh, I do wonder what is so. If this person is not around anymore, why is that such a big conflict between you people? We take our God very seriously. And it was demonstrated to us quite clearly that the worship of the old gods had certain products. And that we're just as happy not to have that particular form of worship, but of course, a god has to be somebody very powerful, very symbolic, that has a cultural meaning for the people, and you, or rather she, qualified perfectly. I can see At least that's how they see it. I can see we, of course, problems. see the whole thing as a big problem and are just willing to stop this nonsense, especially as the game seems to be forming on its own. I knew it did possibly. It's, wait, it's forming on its own? Well, yes, we never, I mean, Marism was going to complete it with his magics. And although he did not, it seems to be continuing. When the two are united, well, then we're going to have a little bit of a cultural problem with one side worshiping the false goddess and one side with a more reasonable point of view. 
Because if there's going to be a vacuum, if they abandon their dollars, that's going to have to be filled up. Maybe we've been sort of working on that, and a woman comes up and says, "Yes, the the." Essence of love and harmony would be a fine thing to worship. Well, someone else says, I keep telling you that's very boring. He says, it is not boring. 